We're going to build a counter and then up down counter. And it will look something like this when we're finished. We'll be able to use a count up and a countdown or a count up countdown. We're going to build the count up down and the principles stay the same. So let's start a new project. And for this, we're going to start a standard project. And I'm just going to call this count up down timer example. All right, and I'm going to be working in ladder logic. Let's open our program. And from here, if we look at the ladder elements, if we want to insert a count up, we have one right here. If we'd like a down counter, we have one right here. Now the problem that we run into is there's not a count up down. So what we can actually do is put an empty box in and drag that to our program. Now from here, this is where we can decide what type of function that we have. And if we click this ellipse button, we can look at our standard function blocks and then we can go to counter and there's a count up down. We'll put that in and press enter. So now it's loaded a preset up, down, counter, and we can give it a name if we'd like. I'm just going to call it counter zero. The type has to be a counter up, down, and we'll hit OK. So now you can see the variable has been placed. So. Now let's create a couple variable names here. We're going to call this our count up. And that must be a Boolean type variable. It's going to enable the count up. This pin here we'll call count down. And that's going to enable the count down. So that's also Boolean. This pin here will reset the counter, also Boolean. And the load is going to load the preset value, so that's also a Boolean. And down here, we have a preset value, and we need to make sure that the preset value variable is either a word or an integer. For now, we're going to use a word because the data type allows for signed values. So we can put in like 16-bit signed values. So that would start at zero. If it was an integer, it would be unsigned and we would have negative numbers. But in this instance, we're counting up from zero. So we're going to have a word and we're going to hit OK. OK, we're going to actually leave the outputs alone. The QU is the up value and the QD is your down value. So whether or not is it going up or is it going all the way down to zero. The CV is the value that it's currently at. So that's your current value. Okay. And that's the basis of an up down timer. So what we can actually do is get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of this. So now this will just show when we simulate. If we want to look at some of the pieces, we can always open the library manager and then look at our standard library counter. And here's the documentation uh, for our function block. So we can see all the inputs and outputs here, what they're doing and a graphical display and then any documentation. Now back to our program, we can test. So I'm going to go to simulation. I'm going to log in. I will say yes to download. All right, so here we can see my preset value is zero, my current value is zero, and I have some built-in 
push buttons in order to enable these pins here. So let's just create a preset value and it says prepare a value and let's just choose 15 to start. Okay, so now we can look at our prepared value and our current value. And what we'll do, let's count up. So we're gonna make that true. So in our debug menu, we'll start and then I'll write the values. So it counted up, it changed my preset value and my current value is one. So it went up one whole integer. Okay, let's try that one more time. So if that's false and that's true again, let's run that and see what happens. So if I write values, notice that my counter didn't change. I actually need to bring this back down, write my values, and now bring this back up, and write my value again. Notice that my counting value has now increased again. I'll do that one more time. We will bring this false and then bring this true and my counting value went up. The same is true now if I would like to, let's count down and notice now my count value has moved to two. If I want to bring it back to zero, I will bring my count to false, my reset to true, and now my countdown output is now high because I have gone down to my lower limit. Now, let's turn the reset off and let's load a value. Again, notice that the down count is still true on the output. That's because my current value is still zero. So that's to just denote I'm at my lower limit. Okay, I'm gonna load the preset value now and let's see. Now I've hit that upper limit on my output and that's true. And now my uh, lower limit, my down is false and my current value is 15. So our counter up down works. I'm going to reset and bring that false. And there you go. So now I'm at zero, I'm at the bottom limit and my upper limit had to reset as well. I will bring this false and I'm back to square one. Okay, that should be enough to get started on up down counters. You're welcome to use regular counters for up or just down or both. Now you know how to access them.